<laughs> Good morning. <laughs> it's Jim from my swing here in my home. Uh, Jim Sunderworth. Wow. Hey, we've had a great time. We've been talking about uh, this uh, great story of faith. We're talking about Jacob right now, and and um, and yesterday we went through the fact that uh, through you know we got the names of the twelve tribes of Israel, and then we talked about we got the nugget in just in time because you see what Laban came to him and said, you know, one thing I found out about you, my friend. Ever since you've been here, I've been blessed. And he truly was blessed because, you see, Jacob took care of his flocks. Jacob took care of everything. Jacob served Laban. And as you serve, you know, you get blessed when you serve others. And and he served Laban. Now, of course, he got his wives and, and he got the handmaidens. He got these 11 sons and with one more coming uh, in the future. And so he came to, to Laban and he said, I'm going to leave. And Laban said, no, don't, don't leave. Don't leave. You, I've been blessed. So he said, what can I wages? What can I give you? Now, this is found in the 30th chapter of, of Genesis. And we're talking right down at the, 30, um, at the 31st verse. And he said, uh, what shall I give you, Jacob? Uh, that, uh, and, you, and then Jacob said, you shall not give me anything. If you do this thing for me, then I will. Uh, if you do this this thing for me, I will feed your flock and I will keep your flocks. He said, "Let me do this. I don't want you to give me anything, but just let me do this. Let me pass through the flocks and remove those that are speckled, speckled and spotted sheep or the brown ones. In other words, they they were ugly. They just spotted and they were speckled. And and who wants a speckled spotted goat or, or sheep or lamb, whatever. And let me remove those that are spotted, and this will be my wages. I'll just take away your, I'll just take away the stuff you really don't want in the first place. You don't like them. You probably use them for something else. He said, let me have those. The, so uh, my righteous will, will answer for me in the time to come, and the subject of my wages come before you, everyone that is not speckled, not spotted uh, among the goats, or not brown. He said, if I have them in my flock, it'd be like I stole them. I will not take those. You can have all the pure, the beautiful ones. You can have everything that's, that um, that the world says is really cool. And I'll just take the spotted ones, okay? And so he said, okay, according to your word, let's do that. So he removed that day the male goats which were speckled and spotted, and all the female goats were speckled and spotted, and every one that was, that was white and uh, beautiful, you know, he, he pulled them out and gave, of course, they were Laban's. And Jacob took for himself a rod. Now look, <laughs> Jacob took for himself rods of green poplar and almond and chestnut trees and peeled white strips in them and exposed the white which was in the rod, and the rod which he peeled he set before the flocks and uh, in the water troughs and where the flocks came to drink so they could conceive uh, where they came to drink so the flocks conceived before the rods and the flocks brought forth streaked speckled <laughs> and spotted sheep uh, here was all they they began to have these uh, lambs and they were all speckled spotted <laughs> can you believe that and and they said do you, do you think it was because of that rod you think it's because he went and got this rod and did that? Of course not. That rod had nothing to do with it. It was God's blessing. He had served all those years, and God says, now it's your time. You served. I'm going to bless you. It wasn't that rod. There's nothing in a rod. It's the blessing that's on the person. It's the blessing that was on Jacob. God was going to use him. He's going to create wealth. So, because you see, ask what you, the, the, the Bible says, uh, ask God what you need and he will, he will fulfill that need. He will, he will answer that prayer. He will give you your heart's desire if it's in his will. Now, listen, God knew that he was going to tell Jacob to go back home. He was going to have to have wealth. He's going to have to have ways to get there. So he made this possible when God guides, God provides. I've seen it for 50 years. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. I've never seen his seed begging bread. I'm telling you, when God guides your life, he's going to take care of you and he's going to provide for you, even if it's speckled sheep, <laughs> even spotted sheep, whatever it is. But let me tell you what happened here. As it goes on, it says, and uh, Jacob separated the lambs and made the flocks face toward the for the, the streaks and all the brown flock of, of Laban. He, and he put his own flock by them and he took them two or three days away. All his spotted ones, he separated the pretty ones from the spotted ones. He went two or three days away 
And, uh, but he still took care of Laban's flock. And it came to pass, whenever the stronger livestock conceived, that Jacob placed the rod before their eyes again, <laughs> that they might conceive before the rod. And when the flocks were feeble, he did, not put, he did not put them in. So the feebler ones were Laban's, and the stronger ones were Jacob's. Wow. Thus the man became exceedingly prosperous and had large flocks, female, male, camels and donkeys he prospered as the lord prospered his soul as he began to mature in his trust in god god prospered him because you see laban's or, or jacob's learning he can't touch the glory he doesn't deceive himself into prosperity he serves himself into prosperity and he loves and god blessed him exceedingly wow i'm over time way over but you know it's, i think it's worth it trust god and he guides. He provides. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.